Yeah, 40, I think they got 40 houses in 40 days. It's remarkable. It's, it's an incredible opportunity. And you know, when after Hurricane Katrina, everybody wondered, you know, what can we do to help? And it, initially, all you could do is send money, but we wanted to do something. And uh, Habitat, putting this together, gives us an opportunity to come down here and put our hands on and try to help rebuild this city. Uh, Habitat is remarkably organized. And when we got down here, the projects are on schedule. They're, they're together. The equipment's here. So it's, uh, it, it's an awesome chance to be a part of something that, that's uh, both effective and uh, just well planned out. So we're, we're just excited to be here. <laughs> I live about 10 blocks from here in St. Claude in the Ninth Ward. I just recently purchased a home and when I tell people I bought a home in the Ninth Ward they look at me like I'm crazy. But I love New Orleans, um, I love the music. I did quite well with the storm both with my, um, my home and with my job and so I mean why not do it. Um, yeah, I met a lot of great people here already today. Uh, from all over the country and just knowing that they came out here to help us was heartwarming. I've cried twice already today, but I'm also learning how to do things on a home, which I think is kind of neat. And Um, our students at our church come from Briar Lake Baptist Church in Decatur, Georgia. And uh, every year we take our students and, um, to a mission project somewhere, and this is our mission project for the summer. Um, we had a personal relationship down here in that the coordinator for the Baptist Crossroads in Houston uh, grew up in our church. Uh, it's just a great project. It's a way to give back to the community. We've, we've been into a couple of fast food restaurants to pick up food for um, kids at night or whatever and they say what are you doing down here and um, so we're down here with uh, Habitat and Baptist Crossroads and we're building houses and they said it, invariably every time that we leave that restaurant uh, the kid or whoever behind the counter says we'll, we'll say thanks for thanks for coming down here thanks for doing what you're doing um, he said oh so how do y'all get paid and we looked at him so we don't get paid we just he said and he just got this puzzled look on his face and he said well what are you doing down here then? Is well, our church? We brought 30, 30 some odd members of our church down here, and we just we provide the labor, they provide the supplies, and they provide the work, and uh, it's just a way to give back. And still, just kind of shook his head. And again, when we when I left the tire store, he said, "Man, thanks for coming down here. Thanks for uh, doing what you're doing for us." So uh, it's been really neat. It's a great project. Uh, this is and just the the devastation that's down here. And how what a small piece this is down here. What a 
you, you, you take this project in the grand scheme of things and it's and we're, it's a little bit. So uh, really hit us when we came down here and saw the devastation. So. But the Baptist Crossroads group and I'm from Briar Lake Baptist up in Decatur, Georgia and we are taking our youth down here for the week to work on these houses and um, we're just here to spread the love of Christ through service and that's kind of our belief and our standard and purpose so that's what we're here to do is to um, serve these people who've lost their homes by rebuilding and reconstructing giving them a hope for a future.